All right, I'm playing some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2022 team deathmatch. It's 6v6 on the showdown map. It's a reimagining of the popular ma map from prior COD games. I can't remember which games. To be honest, at this point, all the Modern Warfare games just kind of blur together for me. I do remember playing it in prior iterations of Modern Warfare. Conceptually, it's fairly basic. It's just a square, multi-levels. In the center, you've got a very prominent statue. Probably it's depicting a fictional political leader who's been deposed just based on the vandalism. This map is great for sniping because of its long lanes, shooting lanes. There's also spaces, spots for close quarters, engagements, really up close and personal. Speaking of long shooting lanes, there's one right there, long shot kill. We're up 13. So this map is new with season four, which has just passed the halfway point. This footage is from just under a month ago, but the halfway point, the reloaded part of the season had been yesterday. And probably the biggest change, the most notable addition to the game would be three operators from the boys, the TV show. About superheroes in the modern day basically superheroes as commodities kind of like the way superheroes are treated today but they're, they actually have superpowers I always thought it could pass almost like the Watchmen, if the Watchmen were to be a modern show. With the satire, but to be honest, it's not as interesting. I've seen the first two seasons. The first two episodes for me were quite engaging and enthralling. But after that, I felt like I just watched it just for the sake of watching it, just to complete it. And then I watched part of the first episode of season three it was just so disgusting i was just so fed up i stopped watching i'm not really a huge fan of superhero and comic book shows and movies i feel like that genre is played out now Like Marvel has had a lot of success with its initial phase for the MCU, but now it seems like they're just kind of reaching into the bottom of the barrel, going with C and D tier storylines and characters. Warner Brothers has never really had much success with their cinematic universe. I don't know if there's excitement because James Gunn is now heading their franchises. I haven't really seen any of the Marvel or the Warner Brothers DC movies. I've seen Wonder Woman. That's it. I do plan to watch the Joker and the Batman eventually, but just superheroes. As a genre, it's quite super saturated. No pun intended. Even video games, the new Arkham, Arkham Knights. I really wish Rocksteady would make another Batman game in the style of the Arkham games, Arkham series. That's like the only video game 
only superhero media that I would actually be excited and interested in. But I'll be honest, the other day I was playing some matches and one player was um, playing as Starlight, one of the operator characters from the boys. and The model looked pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. And there's Starlight, or not Starlight, Black Noir. Here's your archetypical snake eyes type of character from the G.I. Joe. Just the silent, all-black ninja. And you've got Homelander, who's a twisted version of Superman. Just really insecure, vindictive, conniving. I haven't encountered Homelander or Black Noir yet. The trailer for the season shows him with superpowers. I don't know if it's just their finishing moves or if they actually have superpowers that you can enact during gameplay. I think that actually might be the case in certain game modes. It's one clip of a player jumping up and landing on another player and just killing them, stomping them. I think it's a pickup that you get. It's interesting that um, Farrah, the actor whose likeness is modeled for Farrah, that actor plays a character on the boys and she's Fairly significant to the story, I would say. Not part of the the main crew, but uh, without spoiling anything, her character is noteworthy. Again, just that's more just based on what I've seen for the first two seasons, of the boys. And the premise, in case you haven't watched the show, basically you've got the seven. Who are your the superheroes and there are they are essentially puppets of this giant media corporation. And then you got the boys. They're a group of vigilantes who set out to take down the seven. Who are led by a Homelander. But again, they're not crime fighting group. They're Think of them as like a boy band or a girl band, just very carefully curated, presented, handled by that giant media corporation. Voight or Vought? V something. I forget the name of the company. But that's just the premise of the show. I can't imagine Marvel or DC characters being in COD games. Those companies are quite protective about their characters, right? They don't want to have them being depicted as getting humiliated or killed with finishing moves, especially. So Modern Warfare 2019 had your 80s action heroes. There's Rambo, John McClane from the Die Hard series. I'm sure there will be a couple more, at least one more season before the fall when supposedly the next COD game will come out. So the notion of Modern Warfare 2 having a two-year life cycle of updates and content and being in the spotlight. I guess that's out the window. So the outcome of this match has never been in doubt. We've led by at least 20 the whole way through. We end up winning by 35. Hopefully, there will be more updates, at least for a year, for this game. I'd like to see it in the spotlight for another year. Maybe add some more OG Modern Warfare 2 maps. We win by 35, as mentioned, I finished 10 and 4.